Like a moth to a flame, it pulls the same. Next thing we know, we're in a now bear's den. Tomorrow, I know it all begins again. But where we're needed, we will go. And I will. And hello, everyone. I'm Adam with Demi Plane. Thank you for joining us for this evening's Heroes of the Plains. We've got some sponsors. First of all, returning sponsor, Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Snag your Electrum chest code there on the screen or in chat. Thank you, as always, Idol Champions. An incredible game that has so many of the Heroes of the Plains in it. Check it out any chance you get. It can look like it can just be running and and you can like interact with it and then you can go eat your lunch and then you can come back and interact with it again awesome awesome game check it out we also have talent and claw who makes fine premium wood products and they uh we are going to be giving away another dice vault tonight so pay attention to chat for all the prompts that you need to know about that and you can snag one of those dice vaults if you haven't won one and let's see who else we got we've got sirenscape because epic games need epic sound and so you're going to hear music and sound potentially sound i don't know what actually happens because we don't always hear it here because we're kind of loud um and and uh, back and forth a lot but um sirenscape is is pushing through check that one out as well and now todd I'm gonna turn it back over to you oh wow okay so uh let's just jump in you are all in a demi plane of sorts known as storm shield you are in a long house a very long kind of house slash in there is a massive fire pit in the center and you all discovered something unusual about each other as warv walked in and pronounced that's the thing about new gods We find that Freely has grown wings, and all of you suddenly feel much more powerful, much more strong, and you are basking in the fiery glow of Rokara Eldrex, who is on fire, yet not, not burning anything around her at this very moment. Wait, what I'm still it? on fire? I thought that went away when I stopped talking to the Phoenix. That's your new default state. <laughs> just, just constantly burning. What is everyone doing? Well, Whittle is actually feeling some of the warmth coming off of Orkira. I, I, I can actually kind of feel this warmth. I, I didn't think I uh, had any uh, nerve endings anymore. This is kind of nice. Okay, nice I'm good. Toasty. Okay, I'm good. That's, that's good. I'm kind of worried about burning everything. I don't know how to turn this off. Rarv, what's going on? I'm, I'm sorry, did you say something about goats? Yeah. Are you surprised? Yes. Why? Divine sense. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in this room, overwhelmingly bright in your eyes, glowing with divine power. Uh, Briv, could you uh, take 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 a look at the? Uh, no, uh, Rob, I know you're about to say something very important, but uh, uh, Briv, could if you could just um. Uh, so like the dueling divine senses is that yeah. what thou yeah. art yeah um, I'm... sure which direction art thou uh, no this this room because i'm picking i'm picking up some strange things and i mean just maybe like i got wing on the brain right now so oh just... thou dost want a second opinion yeah uh-huh very well i divine sense fey you... fiend, undead all those things 
Yeah, everyone in this room is divine. Including Rarv? Nope. Sorry. Rarv is not. Including Briv? Yes. You say Briv just go quiet for just a second. And then he just turns around and lets out the loudest, I won't do it for the microphone, Huzzah! And it just like <laughs> reverberates throughout the, I told thou that I would do it. And thou didst do it too. <laughs> we are all divine. Wait, Penelope, oh, Penelope, God. Penelope. They're about to start talking and they're gonna mess it all up. But right now, chest bump, divine chest bump. Bring it in, we got, ah, yeah, we got, woo! I don't know what this means, but I'm really excited because everybody else is really excited. I am not. I am not record. either. See, told you they were gonna take it from us. <laughs> I'm actually Listen. totally okay with this. I've actually, I've been waiting for this occasion for a long time. And she pulls out a crown from her bag. My whole life for this. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What, what, what are we? What, what are our portfolios? What are we responsible for now? Do, do you all understand how much responsibility, responsibility comes along with being a god? Also, how? Important. That too. I propose we worry about all that later. No, no. I'm here. Now, let's, now, please. Whittle, I know you really met us like four days ago, but I have been changed without permission or knowledge multiple times, and it's always come with a catch. Every single time, always been bad. Sometimes really bad, sometimes not so bad. And so, even though this seems good now, I'm waiting for the catch. So, how? <clears throat> uh, it has been our life experience that like that nothing good happens to us. Really, nothing good happens to us, and when things seem You're good, they happen to us. That yeah, there's always a price. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, man. You all paid it. How? And what? How we, did? And when? Are we, are we dead again? How many times have we died? How, how do you remember when you all met me? Multiple oh. times, yes. I think it, we it, killed thee, correct? Yeah, I mean, I just met you like when, 15 when minutes the, ago. When the Kuatoa were worshipping you? It was like a giant tiki thing. And they were creating a god through their oh. worship. No. And when a, I don't, don't have a farm of Kuatoa trying to make people into gods. No way, I think he even tried that once. Um, that's not what we're doing. But things have a cycle. And you've done things. I know you're suspicious. But we suspected a long time ago. Penelope, I find you healed a kraken while I was dying and in pain. Who else would do that? I, I would think, I would really hope that anybody would do that. I don't want to kill other ex, you sacrificed yourself to destroy a world filled with mindless undead. Not knowing if you would come back. Do you remember that? There are a lot of people who do a lot of heroic things for the right reasons that don't become gods. And I didn't do it to become a god. I pray to a god. How can I be a god if I'm praying to one? If anything, the god, the phoenix did that. I did the easy part. What did this phoenix sacrifice to do it? I didn't realize sacrifice was a part of it. I mean, it sacrificed our care. Does that count? <laughs> I mean, he's I mean, not wrong. We, we were going to sacrifice a whole bunch of people. Riff Steelmarrow, you had an entire Shadowfell army worshipping you and built a giant statue, a Colossus in Theros, for years and years. I remember. I lived it. Really, you left your friends behind when you didn't want to go, to go save a world that you had never been to. Um, I mean, that, that, that's that's what heroes do. I mean, any any of them would have done it. It just just so happens it was my time. Alindra spent thousands of years trying to fix a time machine so she could bring back a dead world. And Sheely decided to stay behind as her friends left one after another because they were growing old. There was no one else who could 
do it. So I was the only choice. There was no there was no option. If any of any of these wonderful people could have done that, they would have. These are all choices. Well, you you loved your friend Rend so much, you decided to go to Ravenloft willingly and mounted a six-month war against Strahd. These are not things that everyone does. It's not even things that all heroes do. You're here because of what you've done. Well, you can't be here much longer once they find out, but... They? Who is the they? Well, they don't really allow gods here in terms of this is a refugee camp, and... But, but it was this place that turned us into gods. I don't understand. Yeah, that seems very counterintuitive. No, this place didn't make you into gods. You're in a vacuum. Oh, we were in a place without gods, and then because of our worthiness, kicked in our goddedness. Oh. Does this mean when we leave, this will go back to normal? Oh. Typically, uh, it's kind of hard to put the toothpaste back in the tube. <laughs> you know, we've done a lot of impossible things in our lives. Toothpaste. I can, I can do this. Tusks. I can totally, like, yeah. All right, this is explaining a lot yeah. right now about Briff. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, Penelope. Feeny, yeah, feeny, yeah, feeny. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> what are you the god of? I mean, is, 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 it, is it like up to me? Like, I don't know. I mean, it's just, I, don't know. I, I mean, You're uh, now. do you just know? Do you just yeah, know what you get to choose? I, I'm the hero god of heroes and luck. <gasps> cool. What about you? What about you? What about you? What about you? What I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I'm the god of, of friendship. Ah, I'm the god of friendship. <laughs> that maketh sense. I mean, Penelope, you were the god of friendship before you were a god, so that kind of makes sense. I I still don't like any of this. I don't think this is a good idea. It's not about an idea, it's about what you've done. Are you the goddess of suspiciousness, Arkara? <laughs> Apparently, yes. Probably not. I would like to not be a deity. I still don't understand how I could be a deity I mean, when I pray to one. You're all still on. You're still on fire, though. So I feel um, like there might be like a, like a theme, be like a demigod, or I mean, there's probably like a hierarchy. Yes, you're demigods. I, 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 I'm less like concerned about the words and more concerned about the. Be how do I turn this off? Diet god. <laughs> you don't. Know. And that's the cost. The cost? Oh. See, I, I knew it. I knew it. No, no, and no, no, no. And no. walks away. No, there's no, there's a big catch. Everything there. there's along a big the catch way. Because you just got like this sweet like fire aura, and I got wings. No, it's gonna get much worse, Akira. Oh, wait, okay, wait, wait, huh? no, wait. What, what are the rest of you the gods of then? Like middle? Like what? What? What, what is it? I, I feel like uh, maybe I'm just the god of going real fast. Goddess of speed. Goddess of speed. Bring it up. Bring it up high. Bring it up high. Oh, 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 oh I couldn't get to you, Whittle. You were so fast. You just saw a blur. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Briv, Alindra. Alindra, thou dost go first. I, I, I don't know. Thou art the god of knowledge. No, there, there are already plenty of gods of knowledge. Wait, so you're the god of not knowing? Because I feel like I could have taken that one, honestly, if we were just like picking them out of a. I certainly could have. Maybe you're the god of the search for knowledge. <laughs> I don't want to be a god at all. Everyone does. I just wanted to live my life. Yeah. And do you think we can get back to how we were? Do you think Okira can go home? I, I mean, toothpaste. What? Yeah, you can't take the toothpaste out of out of the horn. I, don't, I, don't, I lost the metaphor, but um, uh, wait, the I only mean, people who have changed us in the past. I want to do to do harm to us, and I can't think that a change this dramatic to all of us is something that 
But who did the changing? If we weren't consulted. I'm certain we're going to wake up and this is some terrible trick. Like, it's still Loki messing with us or we never left his ship or this is like a test from the Norns or like whatever. But you know what? For the moment, it feels real. And, and hey, wait, Griff, Griff, Griff. Wait, 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 you going to be the god of? I am the god of courage and resolve. <laughs> ah, yes! Yes, 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 yes. I am relentless. Brave the bold. Brave the brave. But, but. Rarb, um, I know they're not supposed to be gods here, but apparently there are now. And you said they're going to be mad at us, but let's be honest, buddy. What, 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 what are they going to do? What are they going to do? I mean, they're not going, well, it's, it's like I said, demigod. And they're not going to be mad at you. They're just going to, you know, ask you not to come back necessarily and not talk about this place. That's that all. Easy. <laughs> Wait a second. And this is OOC, not to... Alindra realized whether or not she'd been here before, and we put a pin in that because it needed more time. So theoretically, we've already gotten an answer as to whether or yeah. not we've been here before. You have not been here before. Okay. Our peers walked over by where all the food is and is uh, holding onto a piece of cheese and is desperately trying to get herself to stop being on fire so that she you, stops burning the cheese. You shut it down. <sighs> okay. All right. Dost thou have any more of that cheese? Grilled mm. cheese toasted is actually very delicious. Melted cheese is unilaterally superior. I mean, maybe that's what I'm the god of at this point. And I'll the start making Briv a grilled cheese sandwich because Orkira needs a distraction. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so Odin sent us here before we took on the Norns, the All-Father must have known that we'd end up as demigods. Huzzah. Uh, sorry to steal your line there, Briv, but I felt apropos. So It makes us more powerful to take on the Norns. Right, so there you go. Yeah. Managed. You said this This has all happened before, yes? It's a cycle. Uh, well, mainly for the Norse, but um, yeah, there's always a cycle. Some things repeat themselves. You know, Avon always dies on the third day or fifth day or whatever. Uh, Do we think it's a coincidence then? That we've been finding Nithalar? Did none of you take history? No. And I lived nope. it. <laughs> what is history? I'm not a very good book reader. I spent a lot of time as a fish, so. Sorry. Well, yeah, it was a time. I don't read books unless they have pictures. If I might recommend the Viper Sting, that one. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> yeah. You still have Tusk Love volumes four through seven to finish. That has plenty Before of you pictures. go check out more books from the library, you should finish the ones you have. And you can turn them. Get them. I mean, they're all really good. They are. I mean, it's, yeah, they, usually the sequel doesn't live up, but man. <laughs> oh, oh. Volume six? Whoo! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that, yeah. Good thing like, what's weird is the annotated versions uh, are even nastier. I don't understand how that works. Yeah. I've yeah. heard about that, but I'm not willing to go back to Wild Nut to get them, so no. I'm just going to have that to be... That is very fast and furious. Yeah. Right, yeah. Not the, the juice in that case is, in fact, not worth the squeeze. So, uh, all right, so let me get this straight. We're leaving to fight the Norns. Is Alindra talking to the UFO Netherese people? Um, like, what are, what are we... What are we doing? I'm getting antsy. There's a lot of words in, in quick succession. I, I don't know if the Netherese are going to be able to help you. They've kind of, uh, their lives are much different now. I there. do not need to talk to the Netherese now that I'm a god. Well, no, but remember, we kind of like pulled her out of the ship before she really got to like analyze their flying castle. That was kind of on us. It's oh. kind of on us. Kind of was like frost giants were coming. I feel like we Maybe were within our Netherese right. will know what kind of deity thou art. I am happy to hand wave this so we can keep things moving if we want to do that bit later. Or oh, later. you can go up there. Totally. Okay. Um, so, so the Netherese are from what time period of Netherall? I mean, obviously preform, yes? These are at the, but, at, at, at the Calamity. Okay. I, so, so I thought the plan was that Elinda was going to go talk to them and maybe Briv and then... Uh, a couple of us were gonna go talk to um, 
there were some people that we could talk to to find out more about the Norn and the, the prison that we're trying to break the dragon out of. And I guess now we need to find out about God things, or at least how to hide it. Like, how how long do I get to not be on fire? I feel like I have a hard enough time not sneaking about as it is, and then being on fire is kind of a big giveaway. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know that I can pull the wings back in. I feel like we're just kind of... Uh... As you say that, the wings do pop in, and they feel very much vestigial. Uh, you don't feel like a great deal of physical strength in them. They do shrink into your back at that moment. Ha! Huh. Really? How'd you do that? I, I just I just uh, thought about it. Quick, say I want... Uh some kind of netheries meat grilled feast. Oh, Briv, I didn't put any meat on this and I will hand you a grilled cheese sandwich that I finished making. I'm, I'm, I'm eating it as I'm still hoping for it to just <laughs> things into existence. I'm like, I mean, I, eh, ha, 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 and I sneeze and the wings shoot back out again. <laughs> and then feathers. <laughs> Please don't eat my wings. So the honest truth is I don't think any physical things are going to be the thing that lets everybody know that we're changed. I have um, to know who you're saying that to. Sorry, uh, B. Dave. Are you saying that to Briv or are you saying that to Whittle? <laughs> I'm saying that to the room. Like, okay. I mean, I don't want any of them. <laughs> there are multiple people that can eat him. So. Yeah, I don't want any of them to eat my wings. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean he is very tall wings. for a halfling. <laughs> this, uh, I feel like we all just turn to Briv and Whittle and wait to see what they do. Like, he says that and we just go. Thou art faster is a tasty than snack. I am. How? Oh, well, Alindra, you stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, clearly, you are the demigod of truth, Alindra. That's what that is. <laughs> All right, Alindra. Let us go and see the Netherese. And um, uh, Penelope, didn't you want to go talk to your road friend again? Uh, yeah, I suppose it would be nice to talk to him again. But you know, whatever is more important, I'm I'm here for it. Well. We're kind of in a place without time, and if when we leave we can never return, you might want to go talk to your friend before we do that, right? Okay. Thank him for the handle. <laughs> I shall. Have you come up with a name for it? The sword? And the hand, I guess? It's called the Sword of the Woad. Oh, that, that makes sense. It's okay. Simple. Makes sense. Yeah. Easy to remember. Mm. The long road home. <laughs> Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no walking away this time. I'm staying. Br Br Briv literally goes it. and like claps a linger on the back like way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, several vertebrae that had never been popped before pop. <laughs> Oof. Got a chiropractor. Actually. <laughs> uh, okay, but here's the thing. Whatever we're going to do, we should probably do quick because uh, if Rarv is to be believed, which let's be honest, I believe the part that you're saying. I'm just still very dubious about the part you're not saying. The moment people clock us, we're going to have to beat a hasty exit. So, no, do they're I, not going. They're not going to attack you, Aaron. Do I, I just get a sense? I'm going to ask you to leave. That's all. Do I get the sense that what? Rarv has either lied to us or has uh, left things out with That's my so passive insight of twenty? Go, yeah, you may, go and give me a roll, anyways, because we got right. Mount Wild Magic about as well. That's true. You know, it's interesting that you say that. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you called it into existence because that's a natural twenty, giving me a thirty. He has foreseen this moment. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, that means that someone in chat has the opportunity to cause yeah. a wild magic surge. Because uh, there isn't enough chaos in this game already. Yeah. Multiversal magic. So he is absolutely being earnest. And you sense that he is actually in physical pain as well. Is it from his because, face and mannerisms? Is it because Okay, so he hasn't he hasn't been hiding anything. No. So moving on from that, is this he's old? Or is old. there something else going on? He's old. Okay. Barb, I wish I could do something about that. No, oh, I think on some level, the day I crawled out of mud and asked you if you were ready to fight a god, I think 
today makes sense. And that would be me. That would be here when it happened. Are we fighting gods today? No, you're doing the opposite. I mean, you are the gods. I, I spent all this time trying to make a god as a Kowatoa, and, and then you're all here now. And you made yourselves. I'm proud of you. Oh, Rav. I appreciate that, even though this still doesn't sit right with me. Or Kira, when is the last time that something did sit right with thee? I mean, that is true. It's kind of like a strength, but I mean, you you do seem to always be kind of like, I don't like this, or so, like very much everywhere we go. I mean, and when is the last time I've been wrong? Right, to your credit, Listen. to your credit, it also tends up to be terrible, but I mean, like, maybe just this once, maybe just this once. I hope you're right. Everything's gonna be fine. I, I hope you're right. I would love nothing more than for everything to be great, and then we can spend eternity you telling me about the one time that I was wrong. I'd be more than happy to be wrong about that, but yeah. I mean, it's my job to protect all of you, and I can't do that if I don't worry. No, they're super catch. This is going to be terrible. Uh, Alindra, let's go see your Netherese uh, refugees. <laughs> Wait, do they know they're refugees? Do they know everything was destroyed in their memory to us? To her? Not to us. We never heard of them. Yeah, they're aware that everything was destroyed. Yeah, all right. I'll give you a lift. <laughs> <laughs> They are quite majestic. Thank I mean, you. do you, do you need flying lessons, really? I mean, I haven't tried yet, so as of this exact moment, I'm a natural. You might be. I mean, I wasn't, but uh, you might want to give it a, a a few flaps around the <laughs> around yeah. the 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 sky before you pick someone up. I'm just right. saying. I'm give it a well, you know, I mean, if she's a demigod, she'd survive the fall. But cool, cool, cool. That's probably a good idea. And I do like go with my head outside to try and fly. I will follow him and try to give. <laughs> I, I'm giving like pointers as we go. Like, listen, the important thing is trying to like throw yourself at the ground and miss. If you can do that, the rest <sighs> of it comes. Okay. Unfortunately, your wings are not giving you flight. They are <sighs> largely vestigial and in, in, in just right They're now. Decorative basic. wings? That's the worst. You feel the sense that they may grow stronger as t a great deal of time goes by. But I mean, these really, wings are new. They're epic looking. And, and you can hide them, which is kind of nice. You don't have to like retailer all your clothing. And I'll give you some exercises. Listen, I know plenty of exercises to help make them stronger. Yeah. You're gonna be stuck with them for a while. Yeah. It won't, you know, Freely. you'll work on it. It'll be they're, great. They're probably have... for like normal size halflings, and I'm like way bigger than that. That's why it's I not... have yeah, a right. story to regale thee with, and I will make it very short. Back when I was in the wilderness for the last year, uh, you know, four days ago and a year before that, um, I was in the wilderness. I was with my kids. I saw that my children started using words that describe how Orkira feels about everything. There was something called sus, and apparently that is like being suspicious of right. everything. Yeah. Uh, so I believe that that's what's happening. But in my homeland, I had a wondrous creature, the most majestic creature of the entire plains, and it was called an emu. <laughs> okay. And it was a bird. Right. And it was feathered like right. nine wings. Yeah. Okay. All right. But it could not fly, but it still did not detract from its majesty. And so I want thee to feel like thou art the emu. I appreciate that. First of all, highly inspirational. I'm feeling the divine rays here. Um, here's the thing. I already couldn't fly. So now I thought I could fly and then can't. So I'm, that, that's okay. That's okay. And then I like I'm sure the, the emus again. felt like they could fly at one point. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'll walk with Alindra, it's fine. Like, whatever. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I didn't need to fly before now, it's fine. Don't, don't, I'm don't sure the, the wings are gonna get bigger. I mean, the, they're yeah. brand new. Thank, thank, thank you all, it's fine. They're really majestic looking. Thank you very much. Wait, wait, try and run fast. Make sure you really can run fast. Are we just being messed with? Is this purgatory? Meanwhile, Whittle has been running back and forth, testing <laughs> to see how fast she can go this whole conversation. How fast can Whittle go? 
<laughs> well, right now, um, if she clicks her heels, she can go 100 feet. <laughs> Wait, what's your base speed now? Yeah, right. as you start to run, you start moving way too fast. Like, um, <laughs> having trouble getting oxygen, but thankfully you don't need to breathe fast. I don't need to breathe at all. Hey, this is great, and uh, I think I'm experiencing nausea for some reason. She has to stand still for a second, and everything is kind of vibrating. Yes. Why is everyone moving so slow? It's as if her speed has completely doubled. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 So it's not just like a total scam. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Most of the grass is now burnt <laughs> where she walked. Um. For so me. with with no changes after leveling, my base walking speed is fifty, unless something else has changed. Yes, you've you 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 have gone the the boon of speed, and now your base walking speed is eighty feet. So, with my boots, uh, it is now 160 feet. And Whittle gets sick. <laughs> Listen, thou art not the god of flying or wings, and so perhaps thine abilities are something luck-oriented. Oh. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay. No, that makes sense. All right. When something goes wrong, I will. Uh, I will try and make it uh, make it go right instead. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. All right. Come on. Can, uh, can you make all? Hmm? Can 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 you do that now with the whole us being? Do gods? not do it to me. I have wanted this my entire life. I mean, I except for Briv. I, oh yes. Like if Briv. I know Briv has wanted to do this. His whole life has wanted to do the whole god thing. Congratulations, Briv. I'm really happy for you. Uh, me. Can you fix me? Well, I mean, I wasn't trying to fix me, though. So, you, you know, I, 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 I Landry, let's just go. <laughs> and they walk away, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I, I thought I was still inside. So I didn't think I was outside for any of that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You probably hear, like, Freely just pouting, pout yelling it. <laughs> From I just hear Freely's pouting from from inside the <laughs> inside the longhouse. Yeah. I'll let her let them go. It might be the god of harumph. Yes, it's fine. It's like, god of hangry. Yeah, no, like whatever. It's, it's cool. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> usually tall for a halfway. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, just saw what was in chat. Oh yeah, <laughs> the multiversal magic was on cue. I'm actually kind of happy with that. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, okay, so Wild Magic strikes her care right in the center of the eyes. <laughs> and you, or Kara, you are suddenly able to converse with a divine power for one minute to draw upon them for insight into your upcoming actions. What do you do? Apro freaking pro. Right? <laughs> Orkir was literally thinking about how do I talk to the phoenix right now because this is all really bad and suddenly she because I'm I am assuming the divine power she gets to talk to is, is her god so hi things have gotten really weird I don't want this how do I make this stop you don't sorry <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the voice was just. Sorry, the voice was just. Sorry, the voice was just. You're not supposed to be on this call. It's kind of like if like you load bullets in a gun and you're like, oh, I still got one in there. Well, uh, you know, in, in Ravenloft now, the Dark Lord of any domain can intercept prayers that clerics send up and answer them. So there it is. Rarv yeah, yeah. in Ravenloft. I was about Rarv to say, the Dark Lord. have he we just found out we're in a dread domain? Yep. You hear, uh, you hear, no. <laughs> But you two Riv, talk to the phoenix. That's yeah, I, <laughs> Riv, listen. My god is a, a being of few words. And then back to the phoenix. I don't understand how I can be praying to you and then also be a deity. This is uncomfortable. Uh, what should I do about this? 
become comfortable. And then what happens with you? I die. And then you come back, right? No. That's the whole cycle. That's what happens. You come back. But without you, what's the point? You and the point. I don't like any of this. You are enough. I don't want to be alone. You're not alone. Now you have to be there for someone else. I'm not ready for that. You will be. You have a lot more faith in me than, than I do. This is, this is... Okay, thanks. I'll do what I can. It won't be enough. Anarchir just continues to stand there, doing nothing. I, point of clarity, do, do we hear any of that? Do we hear Orkira's side? Do we hear what was going on? That is up to Lauren. Okay. She prays out loud. So yeah, I don't think she realizes and I, it's up to Todd whether you hear the Phoenix side. I don't know that, but she always prays out loud. I will say for the first time ever, you all hear the Phoenix. Unless, unless you are like directly in its presence, you don't hear the Phoenix when she prays to the Phoenix, but this time you hear it vibrating throughout the area for the first time. So just she just stands there looking crestfallen and scared. Bri Briv's gonna walk over to Orkira and just put his hand on her shoulder, and he just says, Thou art enough, and thou art not alone. Thank you, but I'm, I'm worried. I like, I like having a friend who is always there and was always going to be there even years from now. But that's us. But sometimes we're not together or sometimes, you know, I'm dead or other things are going on and Having someone with me is nice. I don't like being alone. And knowing that that's going to come to an end is going to be fine. Because I'll, yeah, it'll be fine. What were we doing? Do, are we all going to talk to the nether, nether people? Whoever wants to come is welcome. I don't think fate is written. Oh, we're in a place of that time, so I guess at the moment until we leave. You're right. I mean, aren't I... we about to go kill those who think that they weave fate? Yeah, we should figure out how to do that, right? I don't think that those who care for you will dictate the course of the rest of your life. I just don't like losing people, that's all. Let's go talk to the netheries and see what they have to say. I think that's a good idea. And Orkira just walks out. He, Orkira, she's gonna run after her. And she's fast now, so she can keep up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, when I'm walking, I'm if super you had slow. Hair, your scales can go <laughs> And when she's walking, Orkira is super slow. She only can move 25 feet. So, like, okay. you, you go past her and come back. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, sorry, I'm still getting used to moving as fast as I do. Uh, oh, you know, okay. for, for what it's worth, we're always going to be here for you. I, I don't know what you've dealt with in the past. You know, you said that you were dead and you had the phoenix to talk to, but we're always going to be here for you. We're, we're never going to leave you alone. And you know, as as far as having all these powers and being a god, you did that. 
You did that by yourself. And that's why you are the way you are. And you don't need anyone else for that. Well, I appreciate it. But I think I do, because I think as much as everybody likes to joke about how I'm the demigod of suspicion and everything, I think if I'm going to help people, then I want to be the person who helps others, so I'm the demigod helpers. But everybody's here right now, and <laughs> you know what? That I don't have to be alone just yet, so let's go talk to the... Yeah. I mean, all right. You're all happy with this, so I should be happy for you, right? <laughs> Let you us go to the floating city. <laughs> okay, how are you getting there? Not flying! Close, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking to the... We want to talk to the Netherese. There is a very Correct. large floating piece of of ground up in the sky almost like an upside down mountain essentially and i think last time you said that um dimension door could get to the lowest level yeah absolutely i'm hoping that like the city goes way way up though right uh you don't see the spires of a city yet but you just assume since it is like all of the netherese so it's like in the clouds we're floating cities but it's up in the clouds but yeah you can get to the, the bottom the bottom uh end yeah. of it perfect you do see like police systems and stuff like that um hey i i want to try something i think now that i'm really fast maybe i'm also strong enough to take all of you with me <laughs> so if everyone just wants to hold hands i'm not certain that follows <laughs> but i'm willing to try <laughs> I, I can't make any guarantees. I just feel really good and how, really strong. How are you planning to do this? Well, if everyone wants to hold hands. All right. Brooke yeah. holds hands. If Freely reaches out a hand, like, I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah. All, all right. right. We're, we're all holding hands. We won't get lifted up too quickly. And do I have feather full ready? <laughs> <laughs> and well, can thou cast it multiple times? <laughs> Then we get several of us. What is Will doing? Nope. And nope, I, I don't. I, I have Featherfall as well. Um, I'm actually going to try and teleport all of us. All right. What's the range on teleport? So you have to roll a... Oh, yeah, because you have to know where you're going. You have to know where you're going, and, and I can kind of see up. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, you can see a where location. We need, that, yeah. Where we need to go. Um, so there, there are different, different levels of familiarity. Um, so I'm going to roll D100. So you still and have to roll teleport, even if you can see the location. So this dictates your familiarity. Okay, and I okay. just, I just got a 69. Nice. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Real nice. 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 <laughs> So and I, that means I what? There's like different. I think it's on target. If if you aren't comfortable with it, I can actually do uh, uh, that. Get... Well, let's let's see no, what so, it says. Yeah. Yeah, there's modifiers based on how familiar you are with with a thing, and then you place roll your head. The yeah, and so if you the the modifier tells you like what's the range you got to hit on a D100, but I would assume if Whittle can see where we're going, that yeah, she yeah, would have to roll happen. really really bad in order yeah, for us to fail. So yeah. what did what did you roll? Uh, sixty nine. That's right. Nice. <laughs> why why nice. did I forget that? <laughs> uh, no, you're one of the state of them. Yeah, <laughs> it's an excuse. I mean, you did technically uh, view it once, but I mean, you're looking at it, so like. <laughs> I just want to go up there. I want You're seeing it once, I, twice, three times. Yeah, just look like, away yeah. a couple of times <laughs> and then look at it again. You're very weird. Teleport. Uh, Blink yeah. rapidly. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you uh, and how many people can you teleport at the same time? Up to eight. Okay, how do you want to flavor this teleport? Are you teleporting, teleporting, or are you moving so fast it makes everyone very ill 
and you suddenly appear in the location. Hmm. I was I was thinking if I'm in the center and we're all holding hands, I kind of take off and everyone gets lifted off the ground. And then you kind of see each person kind of blink out of existence in that space and then blink to the destination. Um, okay. So you see all of us float up, blink out, and then blink back into existence um, up where I can see. You all blink back into existence. Your hair is like a mess for those that have hair. It's just like swirling <laughs> around you or it's in your eyes. Uh, or Carrie, your wings are all like just like kind of truncated <laughs> and weird. Oh, sorry, Penelope. Hold on. Wait, and I'll pull them off of her. You, you just got a wing in your face. <laughs> Freely, your bangs are like in your teeth at this moment. Press the digitation. <laughs> and you are on a tiny little lift, a very rudimentary lift, actually, made out of wood and ropes. What what is in front? Do we have a door? Do we have a gate? Uh you you're on a lift that will actually take you all the way up the side of this oh, this okay. mountain. This flying mountain. Is there something to crank? Or there is something push? to crank for sure. All right, you start cranking. cranking. Yeah, it, it takes a while, and you actually pass through the cloud line. So it's very kind of cool and cold and moist. Um, you kind of feel the dampness all around you. Yes. So as we get up to wherever <laughs> we're oh, going, no. <laughs> um, Brib is just going to say, wait a moment, I, I have a feeling, and I want to try something, and I don't want anyone okay. to stop me. And uh, and then basically he, oh, that uh, makes me very nervous. He, wa he walks to the edge, and he like kind of uh, tips his fingers like that, and then he just jumps off the side, out of the thing, like I'm going to uh, free fall to the ground. Briff, <laughs> Briff, you just um, see Briff fall. <laughs> I'll be back, and I'm gonna dive. I won't I stop him immediately but I will dive after him in case uh, of emergency, bring Orkira. As, as soon as I see Orkira coming, I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm waiting, Don't I'm waiting. From me. Don't take I'm this not, from me. I'm not, I'm just and... here. I'm safety. I'm just safety. That's it. No, and I no will truer just... words have ever been spoken than in case of emergency, bring Orkira. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to follow him down until I think like things are gonna go really bad, but I won't interfere. Face Todd. <laughs> it's just like what is and, about to happen. And um and basically if Orkira's there, like I don't know how long it takes to hit the ground, but like from the cloud line, like it's probably a little while. And so Yeah, it's a it's a while. So as that's happening though, I am trying I am telepathically, because I can do that now. I'm like, Orkira, I am trying something. I believe that I am the god of courage and resolve, and I am now fearless. I thought I was fearless before, but I believe that I truly am now, and my bravery shall protect me. I shall be fine, I promise thee. All right, and if not, uh, you're buying me the drink after I bring you back. Uh, sure, that's fine. <laughs> Deal. And you just see, you down. hear a whistling this... As Briv picks up more and more speed, <laughs> I eventually pull metal out of my bones and then make like a an arrowhead almost like at the like to make me like go more aerodynamically. And as I get closer to the ground, I'm going to three point it, like just Sup and I'm going to try to make a crater. Superhero landing. landing, of course, yeah. of course he will. Okay, so sorry. <laughs> So what is everyone else doing while you're watching? Watching Brif on fall? in horror. I mean, Briv yeah. can't Briff can't fly either, so I don't know what's up with this god thing. So just... I think we've got Griff following you down just to <laughs> just to observe to help. For it, I guess purposes. we've made quite the conga line. <laughs> oh, goodness. I will I will pull up before I hit the ground, but otherwise I will respect Briv's wishes and be prepared to fix things if they go wrong. Oh my god. All right. Whittle, how are you reacting to this situation? 
So how long do you think I should wait until I cast Featherfall on him? He might be a little too far away now. <laughs> he's, 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 he's a little bit far no, away he, at this he point. he asked not to have anything. Yeah, I know, but... Fear, so yeah, I, we have to respect his wishes, but I wish he wouldn't do that. I'm 99% sure that Briv knows what he's doing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> there is so much evidence that I do. <laughs> it, he's, it seems convincing, and anyone with that one, that much conviction, I'm not going to argue with him. But I'm also a little concerned because he's fallen really quickly now. Has he hit really? the ground? Really? How yet? are you reacting to this? <laughs> Taking heart in the fact that Riff can't fly either. Like, really, like, he didn't think too much more about it past that. Like, well, okay. Yeah. I admire his commitment to the bit, though. All right, Briv, you continue to fall, and you, 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 you see the ground getting closer and closer and closer and closer. Uh... <laughs> And you feel very confident. You do. You do. You. you I close you my are... eyes and take a deep breath, and then open them in time to try to stick this landing. Okay. You get ready. You see it. You feel absolutely no fear whatsoever. You get into this kind of superhero-like pose at this moment, and you see the ground rushing towards you faster than you've ever seen it rush towards you before. Um. Just one second. And I want you to roll 1d6 for me. Okay. Um, that's a six. Perfect. <laughs> Can't look like, look Briv, like you take 3,000 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> I'm actually you. going to say that I don't take any of that <laughs> what? because of my newfound boon of invincibility. That allows me to negate damage of any sort, a single instance of damage, and I take zero damage, and I'm going to land uh, on, on the ground in the three-point landing. Spend it on that. There is a blast wave around Briv as he <sighs> hits the ground as he drops 500 feet. For those at home who are wondering why perhaps I was delaying, was because it's 1d6 points of bludgeoning damage for every 10 feet that you fall oh in D&D. He, he fell 500 and rolled a six. So there is, you just see this, you 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 stick the landing, Briv, and then just boom, a crater around you erupts in dirt and waves, and there's a minor earthquake on the ground itself, and the dust settles, and you see Briv in all of his nethery's armor is perfectly okay. And everything and I like I hit thaumaturgy and just yell at the top of my lungs into this clearing. Haza! <laughs> and then I just slowly kind of unwind from the landing. And then I just go, I knew it was true. We are gods. How's he gonna get back up? That's exactly <laughs> what I was just wondering too. That, but I, I didn't want to miss this moment. Yeah. I, I, I land next to him. That. It's okay, Briv. I was hoping that I was here to be a lift and not a revivify, and I will offer a hand. I appreciate the Orkira. See, thou art the god of helping. He's going to do this every time now, isn't he? <laughs> and I mean, it probably takes you? it probably takes a while. I, I will take a second and look around. No one else got hurt in this. Like we didn't land no, anywhere. No, no, right? Okay. No, right. no, 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 if no, anyone no. else got hurt, I would heal them. But. Yeah. yeah. No, there, this was a relatively unoccupied section. That's what I thought. All right, I will. For the take... most part, people decide not to build their homes under uh, underneath giant flying cities. It's just weird. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. I will. It'll take a little while because I'll be moving half speed, but I will fly Briv back up. Yeah, Briv, you do find it almost impossible to climb out of the crater that you just created, <laughs> but luckily Orkira Eldrex lands <laughs> next to you. I hope they name it after me. <laughs> the Briv Crater, really? Crater of Briv. The, the steel marrow. I don't know. Do they? Do you want to name a crater after yourself? Don't you want something more epic? I mean, I just <laughs> fell from <laughs> the clouds and made that crater. So yeah. I think it's pretty epic. Oh, okay. 
Hole in the ground, I, sure. I love it. <clears throat> All right. Arcara flies very slowly, Briv, a very proud Briv, <laughs> up into the air, back onto the lift. He's posing the whole time, and I'm just pulling. Yeah, I'm not helping at all with his pose. Superman, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he looks very glorious. You get up to the lift. You are able to crank it all the way to the top. And as you part through the clouds and get to the very top, you do not see a city. You see farmland. And wooden homes. Lots of, I mean, it's a small village, certainly, but you see just acres and acres. I would say about like 30 or 40 acres of farmland, at least, in this particular farm. Hmm. And it's just sprawling. You gotta eat. And you do notice as you're, you are, as this, this piece of land that you're on is moving, it's trying to follow a light rain, a light rain cloud. And it's matching speed with the cloud perfectly to absorb the moisture. And you see people out there farming. This is nice. There are orchards. Right now you're in a wheat field at the moment. Um, and that's it. You don't see any t- you know, tall magical spires or castles or anything like you would expect from the Netherese. Certainly... You, if you pass by any of these farmers, you notice that the tools are made of a different, a strange kind of metal. Can uh, I identify it at all? Oh, it's absolutely, absolutely like netherese, you know, uh, metal. The same type of metal that is also made up in Briv himself. Uh, they have vestiges, like so, some of them have like some jewelry, nothing incredibly ornate, these are mainly what you know mainly just people people who were not necessarily high powerful wizards but people who mm, you get the impression maybe have been caught in this blast Mm. during the calamity but it's hard to tell i mean some look very like sharp-eyed and keen so perhaps may some of these people have retired but it's not at all what you would expect from the nether east Hmm. That's odd. Um, are they nearby? Yeah, yeah, there's absolutely, there's a farmer right there. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, I don't believe I ever met you. Uh, Elindra, how do you do? Oh, hi. Uh, Theron. Can I help you? Um, I'm so sorry to, to ask, but um, I, I, we were told that you were here. Just, how long have you lived here? Oh, it's been about ten years now, I think. Yes, it's been about ten years. Um, and and why did you move here? This is a, it's a beautiful place, but it's. Well, you're not from here, then. Well, no. Okay, well, well, uh, a very bad thing happened from where I'm from, and um, what I happened? Was, uh, well, everything kind of exploded around us uh, in the feral, and then someone came out of. The shadows and grabbed me and my family and and brought us here and uh, grabbed a bunch of other others who we were all living in the Thero. Many of us, some of us were farmers, some of us were just the people who who worked there, and uh, we were grabbed suddenly, right before some giant explosion. A blast wave almost hit us, but we started seeing. Several of the cities disappearing. Some of the cities exploded. Do you know why? We don't know why. We assume some kind of Were magical... Were you in High Netheril or Low Netheril? High Netheril and uh, some of us are from Low Netheril. But it seemed like the entire world was being tor- torn asunder at the moment. And I were heard. any of you 
any of you magic users? Some of us were, or, yeah. Or scholars. Some of us. And just it, it, that was quite some time ago. It was far, far longer than ten years. Ah, uh, yeah. They um started grabbing us about ten years ago. Here. I'm Are sorry. they still grabbing people from then? As best they can, it requires a lot of, uh, I was told a lot of calculations in terms of like finding the right place at the right time. Um, but yeah, they, they try to grab as many people as they can without uh, al al alerting people to the fact that they are grabbing people. Uh, but yeah, it was like the entire world was just torn open and gravity reversed itself and one of the cities exploded and there were screams and then they grabbed us and they brought us here I'm so sorry that you had to experience that well it wasn't a good day but at least some mm. of us are alive and, and no one knows what caused that Why um, they, they told us that there was some type of calamity and most people are not 100% aware but like they either there are one or two theories that were told to us that either the gods had issue with High Netheril or because High Nith the, the, the high wizards of High Netheril were, were attempting divine magic but that didn't necessarily make sense because wizards can al already cast wish and replicate any spell um so it's unclear exactly if there was a magical experiment that went wrong or if gods intervened and tried to destroy Netheril. We're not completely sure. There was no time really to suss out exactly why everything just went wrong. It might have been an accident, but there are a lot of theories. You said there are some scholars here. Do they have any any materials or information there? Um, things we could. Yeah, uh, we, there, there are probably some scholars. Um, we didn't keep a lot of. I mean, we've got a few that we, we could try try to to find. A lot of people, most everyone after that experience decided to retire. Um, so. You all look here? very intense. <laughs> you know how you said you had a bad day? Yeah, it's, it's been four days for us. Um, do you know anything about the I Norn? I had a wonderful day. The Horn? The Norn. Oh, the Norn. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I do. Um, uh, they're, they're like the keepers of all fate in the universe or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Do you know Scary. anyone who... Yeah. Do you know anyone who not, might know more details about them? No, that's not really... I don't think anyone would know anything about that hair. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's worth an ask. No, I understand. Have you I start story... uh, pulling metal out and, like, making patterns with it and stuff, and I'm just casually walking around everywhere just to see if anybody, like, asks questions about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of nonchalant, like... Look at, look at me, look at me! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you get a couple of one or two weird looks like, okay. Uh, if so only like someone apples. would ask questions. <laughs> oh, I, I wonder if I'm anyone would ask. I mean, like, what, this? this is halfway between showing off and trying to see if yeah. anyone is like, oh my goodness, that's Netherese metal. You know? Yeah, so. yeah. No, they recognize Netherese metal, but they are also like a little uncomfortable around. They see you are all very, you strike of all a very like heroic pose, and everyone here seems very not about that life. Um, everyone's trying to be very simple. You are, you've just walked into like a relatively like eco friendly commune and you're spinning liquid metal out of your bones. <laughs> A little awkward. <laughs> if, if I see somebody like farming and trying to make a row, um, I I go by and like I genuinely try to help. I don't know how successful I'll be, but I like you know make metal and try to like you know finish help them finish the row. 
Uh, no, no, I, I, I appreciate it. We, we, we try to keep things simple here, actually. Uh, but, but, but thank you. And uh, it was simple, no trouble at all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, have a good day. I'm gonna keep. And, uh, and you. Planting my peas now. Oh, uh, Whittle actually steps out from behind Alindra. She's been standing behind her this whole time. <laughs> it... Hello. Oh, you're tall. Um, real quick, I know you're all busy with your peas and everything. My name's Whittle. Um, so when you blipped into existence on this floating city, do you recall if it was new? Is this floating city brand new? Did you build it? Does it seem like it's been here for a while? They, uh, th uh, they actually grabbed this one. Um, and we we actually tore down almost most of the buildings were already falling apart because of the explosion, but but they were able to repurpose this particular one. And so we decided to make farmland. And uh, we follow the clouds and the weather that we need to grow food for the rest of the demiplane, and, and that's what we do. Okay, thank you. I was just curious. Was hey, hey Whittle, is there stuff inside this one like there is inside Storm Herald that you can take a look at? I would have to look at what kind of materials came over from, from the other world. Is there a, is there anything left over that you think you might be able to salvage? Uh, we've already uh, d d d dug pretty deep into all that stuff. We only maintain the magic that's required to keep this place afloat. So we, we, we'd prefer to leave things where they are. If, if yeah, I, I saw this uh, floating cloud you got here, this nice rain cloud. Uh, that's some pretty impressive magic. Well, the cloud above us isn't magic. We're, we're, we're following it so that we get rain on our... Uh, oh, so you can actually direct uh, where this floating city goes? That's right, yeah. How does that work? Well, we have a place where we can steer it, but we like to kind of keep that to ourselves because we don't want people, like, you know, crashing it into anything or, you know, steering it who don't know how to properly... Leaving it behind, trying to drive <laughs> it into hell. That, that all seems like legitimate things to worry about, yes. It's a bit she intense. Glances at Orkira like <laughs> Good okay, to know. I mean, do we to... want to go back to ours? I can take us back to ours. But once again, once we leave. Are you I'm sorry, are you asking me? <laughs> I'm just kinda asking the group. Like when when you look at me, uh, Orkira will say when we're ready, I can I can get us back to Storm Herald. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, I, I think if we get to that point, uh, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Storm Herald again. I mean, I, I did work real hard and I built the whole thing. But, you know, we, we got other priorities right now. Uh, fighting the Norn, figuring out why we're gods and whatnot. So, uh, you know, it's on the bottom of my list of priorities. Okay. So, so I'm going to kind of pull everyone aside. and I, I guess I could have this conversation over the telepathic chat. Um, or, yeah. Uh, so, around the time that this all happened, the gods were punished um, for their interference and their infighting and the trouble they were making, and they were forced to walk as mortals. If everything is, if all that is old is new again, are we... Do you think we're the opposite of that? Well, I don't are, know. Are we fallen gods? I don't know. I they mean, I just know fell either. a very long way. Well, you yeah. did. Well, you jumped, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, at what? some point it was probably falling, though. <laughs> At what point does it turn from jumping into falling? I don't know. I wasn't uh, counting. Rules is written, it was falling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Freely's not, not a falling sky. god. True. Well, to Whittle's point, I, I don't know what else we can do about the whole us thing. I'm still worried about that. Um, if we're going to go after the Norn, what we need to figure out is where we're going and what we're going to do when we get there. I was kind of hoping... We could find that information out, but it sounds like the Netherese don't know that. It happened after. It's a, 
The cataclysm occurred uh, from meddling with magic beyond comprehension. He caused chaos in, in that chaos. And all of this began. Okay. How long would we say that we've been here? To, like, I am going to try to sneak in a rest if we're going to be here longer. Than oh, yeah. I will, you can totally get a, a, a long rest. Easy. Didn't we just have a long rest? We did. Yeah. You can okay. get another one if you want one. I'm really tired. I want it. I could use a rest. <laughs> I just teleported eight or six people. <laughs> but, well, so before we get in a long rest, I think that's the only thing that, that Orkira is trying to do is like figure out where we're going and what we're doing. I mean, with the Nori. If, so if we're going to the long, long rest, rest, I'll try and legend lore time of trouble stuff. But uh, okay. If, okay. If that feels relevant, but if we're, we, I mean, we did just take one. If we're not gonna go, yeah. If we're not gonna go back to Storm Herald, do you want me to send a message to um, the people that we left there? I mean, ultimately, are we not returning her? I don't I know. Think we, we're gonna go back there eventually. Road. Yeah, but as far as. Uh, Ramble and Harry and Gentle George and Oscar and Nit. No, we left to go talk to Odin. Yes, you definitely let them know. Sorry, yeah. Brad. Who uh, are we those people? The, the people that we left on Storm Herald. Oh. Or, or Kira says earnestly, like totally expecting you to not know who those people are. <laughs> yeah. Very so, well. like, shouldn't we warn them we're not going to be back, especially since I. I paid them a lot of money to watch Nit, and I think at some point Nit is gonna go try to kill Thor. Who is Nit? The big giant guy. Oh, oh, I forgot. Yes, it's I know been, who Nit is. Yeah, it's been a, a weird four days, five days, seven, five days. I'm gonna cast sending. And I'm gonna try to send to Harry. <laughs> Harry seems Harry's the one I paid to watch Nit, right? <laughs> uh, I think it was yeah, Harry. It might have been the bar. The he's the balding bugbear, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I'm gonna cast sending to Harry. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> They've never answered before. I've been able to send them a message before. This is really weird. <laughs> um, we're taking a bit longer than expected. Don't worry about us. Stay safe. How's lunch? <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, hope back soon. I hope you are fine as well, and you had a good lunch. Or here, or here. Ask them if they've been <sighs> uh, training knit on how to punch better. Okay. I will cast sending again. Have you been training Nit on how to punch better? Also, Whittle says hi. T Hello. T tell, them, and tell them we're gods. Uh, 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 and Orkir will look at Briv and it'll go through the sending, but she'll say, I think I'm going to leave that part out. Yeah, it's so uh, Nit's like <laughs> 30 years old now. <laughs> And Briv tries to yell like it's some kind of line, like, and he's like, "Hey, we're gods now. We are gods." <laughs> not understanding that it's not getting through to them. Did, uh, he punches real good, but he's getting older very quickly. Strange that he had nothing to say about us being gods, but <laughs> uh, well, um, rude. Apparently, Nit is aging really rapidly. He's like thirty years old and is getting just, older. Just Nit. Yeah. yeah. Or is it everyone? Or is is time tra are we in a bubble where time moves differently? Well, uh, we definitely I already knew we're, in a, that, we're yeah. in a bubble where time stands still. So does that mean we've been here for 30 years? Too long. He said, and it's like, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to cast well, it again. He is a clone. <laughs> Go ahead, you cast it. age faster. All right, what are you asking? Is it just Nit that's older or all you older? I thought we were only gone for a day. Yeah. How long have we been gone for? Oh, I don't know. It seems like... Oh. It's like a day. <laughs> okay, alright. It's hard to tell in the frost fell. It's just cold and... Oh, we 
left him in the frost spell. No, we didn't. No, no, no. We left him at in um uh, Asgard. Because remember, we Thor teleported us to Asgard. He took the entire Storm Herald with us. Oh, the entire ship. Really? Yeah. yeah, I thought we were on Storm Herald when we left Nit. Storm's we we were right. We were okay. I don't Thor think Storm... transported oh, you're right, you're all right, right. Of... because uh, Freely oh, sorry, goaded no, him about uh, my mistake. Not Frost. Not the frost fell, we're just on the side. They left us on the side of a mountain. Which is very much like the frost fell. <laughs> okay, uh, Okira, let them know there is central heating, but if it ignites anything on fire, you just gotta whack the machine in the control room a few times. Are, we, right. are we sure we're taking a long rest after this? Because... <laughs> How many sendings are we going to explain? <laughs> I mean, I can do a lot more as long as we're going to get Meanwhile, a long rest after this. In Asgard, there is Harry the bu Balding Bugbear. It has like a nosebleed from all the sendings that have been sent to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, he doesn't have a lot up there in the first place, so <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. Listen, or or Kira's working on an eight intelligence. Like we're <laughs> we're doing our best here. There's a reason that she has to use five sendings to send for one message. I will say what we have. Aiden, Aiden, Clev, high five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank the universe, Alindra's here. I will send one more sending. <laughs> we're gonna be gone a while. Do what you can. There's central heating. Uh, to take care of yourself. I miss you. Ah, uh, I'm married. <laughs> but we will, I hope it's not it? you. It's me. And it's fine. Wow. we'll take care of ourselves. I just said I love you to breathe. And it says nothing. To I'll see, you. we'll, uh, go, go. Yep. Well, now go. things are awkward between <laughs> us. Some people just don't react well next, to being told that you, next you time, care about them. Thou shouldst choose omniscient skinny Pete. I guess, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's the one. I, I picked the guy I paid to watch Knit. Do we want to be worried about the fact that Knit is now 30 years old? Is that I'm something? a little concerned. Yeah, but, you know, uh, it sounds like Knit's progressing well on uh, their punching lessons. So yeah. that's yeah. good. One problem we at a time. We have reason Amen to, to that, too, that Knit is half giant, perhaps half god. Aging might be a bit different. I... Aging sounds like it's a lot different. Anyway, they know we're not coming back anytime soon. And don't worry about Harry. I mean, the, the bugbears, uh, they don't really understand niceties. They think anyone who's being nice to them is flirting with them. <laughs> I mean, I don't take it personally. I just feel like that means he probably hasn't had a lot of friends that's all tell it him, is. Tell him how much that they care about him, and that's kind of yeah. sad. Poor lonely Harry. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, in Asgard, Harry looks out into the clouds on the sunset. I am a bit lonely. Oh. <laughs> 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 I think you should normalize telling your friends that you love them. So. I agree. I agree. Absolutely. And uh, when I love all of the yeah. You should normalize telling your bugbears that you love them. <laughs> that too. Them too. Absolutely. Hug bears, not bugbears. No. <laughs> <sighs> and there's our t-shirt for the <laughs> I'd, I'd buy that t-shirt. Yes. Give me. Hug All right, bears Megan, for bugbears. Start designing. <laughs> Hug bears for bugbears. I want it. Someone speaking make of, that. Speaking of somebody that played a bugbear on a prominent stream, no. <laughs> yeah. Bugbears from bugbears. They do have those extra long arms, though. That's, they do. You know, Bring yeah. it in for big hugs. Normalize, in. normalize <laughs> getting B Day to nope out of a, one of our conversations <laughs> in, in a session. I feel like I'm fairly resilient too. I just I have resistance to. I, mean, I, I have uh, vulnerability to some damage. Is what I'm finding. Yes, but every just, every just week penetrates. The, the DC goes up a little bit in order to get get through. That save gets through. tougher. Yeah. All right, out, out of character, is there anything else that we can do, that we know we can do to find out about the Norn? I feel like that's the reason we're sticking around here at this point. Well, I think it's legend lore. No, right? Nethery, uh, not on this Nethery's island, no, absolutely not. Well, just anywhere in this bubble of time. It felt like uh, Prince Rarv was the one who knew most of everything. Okay. So he, he he's just kind of waiting back at the inn. I'm sorry, Alinda, that we weren't able to find all the 
knowledge that you wanted. No, it's it's fine. I I I didn't. Uh... Yeah, I, I, they have a lovely agrarian uh, home here and, and a beautiful, e ecologically friendly uh, farming society, and I'm, I'm very happy that they're safe and well. No one even recognized the metal in me. <laughs> this was a bust. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's, it's kind of, it's a mixed day. It's a mixed day, but I recognize the metal in you, buddy. You What's see, that? like, a, you do see an elderly woman approach you, Alendra. Hello. Hello. I understand you were looking, uh... I assume you're all good people? <laughs> we try. Mostly. You have kind of the look of a wizard about you? I, I do my best to learn, yes. There's like this silver canister. Don't let anyone know that you have this. What, what is it? It's a... You'll know it when you read it. Understood. Just, just keep it on you and keep it safe. Fair. One time that happened outside of Hooper Duke, and it did not end well. Yeah, and, and the messed up thing is Hooper Duke was the only good thing about Wildmount, and yeah, it's still, yeah, mm-hmm, it's true. I still think about those, those hot dog cannons from time to time. Do you ever think about the hot dog cannons? Those, uh, Just the, the hot time. dogs. Just the hot dogs. <laughs> we, we all see this? Alindra gets handed this thing? Yeah. Okay. It looks Thank like you. a scroll case. You have my thanks. All right. Well, back to being old. <laughs> she <Aww. laughs> walks off. Should we head back to where Rarv is? Briv, do you want to fall I again? So. Um. I will go with all of thee this time. <laughs> okay. How selfless. I'll go ahead and cast non-detection on the case just so. Okay. For safety. Yep, you do so. How do you get back down? Are you using the, the lift? If there's no lift, then I'm... Oh, God. <laughs> it, please say there's a lift. I mean, I can get us down again, but... There is there is a lift. We took yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. You, you can take, take the lift that. all the way down to the ground now. Thank you, DM. Yes. <laughs> we love our accessible floating cities. Absolutely. Yes. And we skip ahead to being back in the longhouse. Yes, you are at the longhouse now. You, you, you all have to walk through Briv's crater. And it's a little slippery because of all the dirt and everything, so it takes some and, climbing and to get out of the hole he dug talking, for you. And I'm like, imagine when it rains, and it rains enough, it will create a lake. And all of a sudden, it's not a crater anymore. It's Briv's Lake. So, so, so you want to call it Briv's Crater instead of, like, the Steel Marrow Crater? I like Steel Marrow Lake because, as I said, when it rains enough, it will no longer be a crater. Or perhaps we... Crater? Dost thou not have create food and water? Canst thou create water and put the little lobster creatures in the water and it can be a lake where people come and fish out how, the lobster creatures? How big is the crater? It's very big. I mean, it's very big. It's more than 30 uh, gallons big, right? Yeah, it's going to take some time. How long do you want to create, create food and water? And by the way, a time dead lobster doesn't even is a dead flow lobster. Here. I, yeah. So you're just making bisque. I I don't want to spend any time, but as we are walking through the crater and as Briv mentions this, Orkira will once cast Create Food and Water. And so like basically in the middle of your giant crater, she, she points at the middle of it. And in the middle of this giant crater, essentially a puddle appears of 30 gallons of water. And next to it is the, the plank of hardtack. That is the 45 pounds of food in a, in a, food in a bread basket. She, and she'll look back at you, Briv, and say, I'm not going to be able to fill this. Sorry. It is okay. I have to start somewhere. And then you see him, like, really collect one, and he starts spitting everything that he has in him, and then he turns around modestly and uh, starts to urinate. Uh, and so he, he's just, he's going, you've got to do it in steps. Oh, that's that's when we, nope, it. and we're mm -hmm. Yep. I'm, I'm just going. Yep. <laughs> Stream's right. over, everyone. Yep. All right, so back at the longhouse. So, apparently, you know, with all of our great divine power, we all have substantial weaknesses now. Yeah. 
<laughs> Welcome to Pee Pee Lake. <laughs> Don't pee in the pond. That's the first thing they teach you. Don't pond in the pee. Well, that too. <laughs> okay, so Burf Stilmero is the first Chris. one to pee in his own lake. <laughs> That's a real thing I've said. I'm so glad we have this show still. Uh, <laughs> you know, the real test is we'll be, back, we'll be back next week. That's the true test. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, this is all Adam's doing. If there's any question, he's the boss. Aren't you glad you well, made we us will, gods? We, we will die as he lived, yes. Greenlit. <laughs> <laughs> With empty bladders and uh, our own lakes. I do, while we're walking, I just lean over to Penelope and I say, uh, do you, like, feel like you can do something, like, different now? Like, like Orkira catches on fire and, and Briv is apparently unkillable. Um, anything feel new? Well... I definitely feel like my skin is tougher. Quick, quick, hit me with something. Hit me with something. Well, I don't want to hit you. Like, I, like, I mean, I, w I will if you. Yeah. And I hit her with the with the uh, artificial hand. You you hit, you hit her with your artificial hand. I'm very much like. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Boom. It hurts. Your artificial oh. hand. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought you meant Penelope did. I no. Like, oh no. <laughs> we all got nervous. Like, you you like like punch her in the shoulder and it's just like, oh no. <laughs> you you feel like one of the gears kind of go crunch inside like, this, of your own hand. This is doubly miraculous because not only are you unharmed, I'm feeling pain in an inanimate <laughs> hand. What is the Mending. Mending. <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm tough now. It's so tough. I mean you were tough before, but I mean I mean, do you really, I mean, you really want to like try it, try it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. <clears throat> I just gently reach over and death ward Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> He's like casually walk by. <laughs> I hear this, I hear this, and I'm just like, I just boop you on like right between your shoulder blades and the wings pop out and you're death warded. Just, just work up, be careful. Brib, what you, I mean, uh, I uh, her, Dave, what are you doing? I hit her again, but Roll this you? time I, I drop a level one smite on it. <laughs> Roll it. <laughs> roll roll your damage. All oh, right. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, we do have to roll to attack. <laughs> I mean, sure. she just she's letting you hit her. Sure. All right. That's. I mean, it, it's one. It'll be one point plus the so a whole nine points of damage. It's uh, how much of that was the weapon? One. Yeah. It's, unar it's unarmed strike. <laughs> The smite hurts. Yeah, the smite hurts her immediately, but like the physical attack, uh, almost nothing. I'm like, hey! oh, 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 sorry, 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 and then I immediately lay on hands with the other not metal hand. How is cheating? But I mean, that's like you've seen me do that like a lot. Like you had to know that's what was coming. Like it's sort of that's my thing. That's the thing I do. Bro just like kind of walks up on this and. What is the meaning of this? Yeah, you, like, all, you all watch. You all watch freely. Smite Penelope. <laughs> Wait, hang on. No, this isn't what it looks like. Wait, no, Briv. She's like super tough. Like she, I broke my hand on her. So then I put a little of the paladin juice on it. You know, it seems like like maybe she's resistant to weapons, but not the like. You know, there's a lady by nearby. Oh my God, that. No, Please, no, I'm not. I did that other half. No, you no have, have, you, have you ever no, seen, I, seen a play, a performance where, where performers can, That nice can bush lady was doing one. nothing. And she just I am up to immediately her. extend my wings and Elder's Black. <laughs> <laughs> that angel halfling smote that we're, little tiny bush. We're doing hero business over here, okay? Hero this business. Doesn't seem like hero. Well, that's because you're not one and you don't know what it looks like, ma'am. Excuse us, please. <laughs> Ruth? Yeah. And, and I'm like, Briv, Briv, no, really. She's like super durable. Like, try it. Try it. Like, like a Rib little bit. Briv takes the flat <laughs> of his sword oh, no. and like tries to smack her in her uh, little bush rump. And, <laughs> um, and, and he's going to smite with a first level spell. <laughs> Bro, your damage. Roll it. Because he, he misunderstood. He misunderstood. <laughs> so that did uh, only three points of damage with the weapon. 
<laughs> yeah, so you, you, you take one point of, uh, of piercing damage or bludgeoning damage. And a total of six points on the smite. And you take six points of damage. It was a low damage. roll. Oh my god, the smite is <laughs> happening! <laughs> it's it's awesome. the smite Tis happening. for science. Get a hold of thyself. Freely very much goes like he's going to lay on hands where she got hit and then stop very nervously and just put it on her shoulder <laughs> and lay on hands. Hey, hey, Penelope, um, can I practice a natural weapon on you? I, I'm kind of curious to see, uh, <laughs> you know, why not? If you're why resistant not? to bite that her. as well. Yes, bite her. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite her. Uh, roll to hit 23. Why are you trying to bite her? Wait, wait, are, just... are, you, are you doing full Dracula from behind, like, neck bite? <laughs> no, I mean, she knows I'm going to bite her. I'm just going to come at her from the front. And just, I'm, just, I'm going to bite your shoulder if right here. Is that... you, I'm going to do it in front of you. Yeah, I'm going to bite you from the front, uh, the front of your arm, the place where it's least tender, at least. Uh... <laughs> you bite her arm. Roll your, roll, roll your bite damage. Or Kira, Alindra, get in line on this. <laughs> I already did. I no, get warded. I, I don't want this no, I have anymore. No, I have desire to, to hit Penelope. She's my friend. I don't want to be her. I'm not we hitting Penelope. I'm out biting the her. Of roll, our roll, roll, roll your bite damage. Five. Roll, <laughs> five, five. You take half <laughs> of that. You take half of that bludgeoning damage. Your teeth are like, oh, they don't sink in as good as normal. I'm... I, uh, okay. Your, your vampire proof, Penelope. Yeah. Uh, half yay! vampire proof. <laughs> I gotta file my teeth down again. <laughs> so thou art like. Uh, so uh, do we see? Does it um, like? Is anything different with her skin, or is it just her skin's tougher? She's just tougher. <laughs> do, you, do you get to keep that when you're uh, like a cute animal? Ah. Oh. I don't know. Uh, before you do, I'm going to warn you, now that I've asked that question, if you do this, I think Briv is going to attack you again. So, um, uh, we might want to think attack. about this before you That just is take. more of a freely thing to attack his friends. <laughs> it was science. Okay, well, we'll Wait. just have to find out one day. Oh, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> no, I oh, think the suspense was killing me. And I could check with some magic and examine what's happening here. Oh, that instead, probably makes more sense. Instead of <laughs> hitting her. I mean, to, in our defense, we've all let words, like, go. Like, we haven't done anything all day. Like, we did a lot of listening, and now we have to be ourselves, Alindra. We have to be who we are. And, and she you asked are for it. hitting your friends for fun? You think literally what we do is hitting. Yes, no, and like, and I, she's healed, she's fine. And now we know what she's capable of. Briv jumped off of an incalculable height. <laughs> that didn't surprise me, though. <laughs> really, I appreciate that you've let us do a lot of talking. Let's do a little more it's talking. True. And then we'll have a long rest. And then we'll go kill a bunch of Norn, okay? Okay. Deal. <laughs> and um, I'm assuming we're at the longhouse, and I'm gonna walk on in and look for Rarf. Okay, yeah, Rarf. Rarf's sitting there by the fire with a blanket on him. I'm gonna walk on over and sit down <laughs> next to him, in front of the fire. This is a nice place. I like this. Yeah, you know, like I in front of the fire, not this whole weird timey wimey thing. Oh, I don't mind it, actually. Everyone's it's, it's kind of peaceful. Well, you should have been outside a moment ago. There's a lot of fighting going on. Yeah, I heard a freely attacked a halfling or something. Uh, in fairness to freely, and then there was this big explosion. Yes. <laughs> was that, oh, that was, was that you? Oh, uh, no, that yeah. was me. I made a crater. And Rav, when we are gone, please have all of the little children in all of this place go with buckets of water and fill it up over time. So when I return one day. It shall be a full lake with dead lobsters. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you I'm going to do it, but I'm not, like, going to do it. That's fine. I probably will never be back here. Okay, good. Let's, let's be having a accord. So, um, 
you guys uh, gonna figure it out what you're gonna do? You wanna take on the Norn? Yep. I mean, yeah, that's sure, what we... not. Yeah. We don't have any more details than that, though. Well, uh, it's kind of risky getting in there, but we can we can use the. We've been in there before. Teleportation time machine to get you there. At least thereabouts. But the moment you're in there, they're gonna know you're there. So it's kind of how their fate, fate kind of knows where you are. Once so, you return to the multiverse. So what would happen if we issued a fate? If we if we chose to actively deny something that we were fated to do. Well, what are you fated to do? I mean, wouldn't that be fate anyways? If we decided to deny that fate, oh, that would just no. become the fate. Well, I don't so know how that... fate works. It's complex. Um... Well, my understanding Are of the just is... saying that we don't capture the other versions of ourselves, Alindra? Yes. They also, will probably we're... just get irritated. But also... Essentially, a prophecy was issued. Prophecies speak possibility into being. And that would be fate. And if we choose actively to defy that. Wait a second. Who made this prophecy? Well, Kira, I believe you were told your future. I've had a lot of beings tell me what they think my future should be. I've put in a lot of work to make it be the thing that I want it to be. And then we woke up and became gods, and I've been told it again. So, you know, maybe I'm not the correct person to ask. No, everyone has a choice. I think right now the thing we're worried about is that the Norn are trying to stop a whole bunch of timelines. And so we were going to go rescue a dragon and kill the Norn. Okay, 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 okay. But we really have to ask the question, is it is it bad to have so many timelines? Or... Is it bad to only have one timeline? Yeah, because I feel like I get what you're what you're going after with the whole Dragon or Akira thing, but that timeline was not a place to want to be in, so I, I don't know that that was a loss as such. Well, if you were one of the people living in that timeline, do you think that you might think otherwise? Especially now that all the undead on that world are gone? I mean... I mean... But I, I was led to believe that it was because of you guys that that world was like that. I mean, us. I mean, us ostensibly, except I wasn't there when you, this course of events, put that in motion. <laughs> Washing thine hands. I mean, you're not <laughs> wrong. I wasn't there for that part. I just... Yeah. You're, not, you're not wrong, but if, if we fixed it, if there's no more undead there causing all the problems, and the people there can now live normal lives, except the Norn are going to now destroy that entire timeline because they just don't like it, is that any better? I don't know that I don't know that we can go around fixing realities though, because I mean like they, they tend to get away from us. But whatever. I mean and, and we... isn't Isn't a life the collection of the experiences you accrue? We made choices. They had consequences. can't undo those things. Every time we tried, it just made things worse and more complex and confusing. Well, I'm not saying we undo it. I'm just saying that now <clears throat> we fix it. Not backwards, we go forwards. Hmm. Tis like I told my mate back in the year when I was saddled with the kids that it was not worth cleaning up the house because it was just going to simply end up that way yet again in 10 more minutes and so why clean it in the first place so we should probably just let all this stuff happen because it's all going to just happen again i like your metaphors that and this has been a lot of planning to just not do the thing so i mean i feel like we at least need to like bust a dragon or a kira out of there because she's kind of in this mess because of us 
I do agree with that. Maybe that's where we start. We just go in for one little thing, and then other things will happen. That, that seems to be the way of things with us. Okay, all right. Well, everybody rest up, and then we're going to go get Dragonoid Kira, who's in this mess because of us in every way I could possibly mean those words. Yeah. yeah. What, okay. what is in the scroll case? You open up, and you find a spell. Um. <clears throat> It's Mage Hand. <laughs> it's Wish, and I burn it. <laughs> you open it up, and you do see the markings of arcane magic. Specifically, this is a wiz wizard spell. That's fortunate. <laughs> It's a good place to start. It's like, man, that old lady got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Except you've never seen this configuration ever before. And it is a wizard spell scroll for true resurrection. Oh, wow. That's not an ominous thing to drop on us. Thanks, man. Appreciate uh, that. <laughs> what, what's it Yikes. say, Alindra? <clears throat> Um, this is a spell that allows me to bring back a creature that has died for any reason other than old age and oh it's a good spell it is um, it restores the health of the creature um it heals a wounded body and it can even bring back a new body so maybe we do not have to break in to take Fokira at all perhaps because I... Fokira is like dead now right <laughs> I'm, I kind no, of felt don't... like she was about to be eradicated from existence but I figured we had to go and check but yeah basically I also need components for this that are of a great deal of value. We have a lot of diamonds. Do we, though? Didn't we have one worth 25,000 gold? Uh, we did take a lot we of dust stole... from our cave. Yeah, that, yes. that's... We stole a lot. But we stole a lot from a place that is being wiped out of existence, right? Do you ah. still have that? I immediately check my pockets and my ba uh, bag of holding <clears throat> and in my whiskers of my beard. Yeah, yeah, everywhere it, that that diamond dust could be. It's still there. But it's kind of fading. <gasps> no! Cast it now! Yeah, use it! <laughs> yeah. On what? On who? We're going to bring the didn't, back. Did, didn't we actually, didn't somebody say they got one of her scales? I seem to recall someone saying that. Um, if I may interject, if the fates eliminate someone, they're not dead. They're gone. Forever. There's so no wait, soul, there's no get. life, there's nothing. They're gone. If the Norns want you gone, you're gone. There is no resurrections. So yeah, we're back to killing the Norns. Okay. You're not going to be able to kill the Norns. That's not a solution. They go in the fate. I mean, but they didn't unfate us becoming gods, so there you go. And Odin sent us here, and Odin didn't say we couldn't do it, or he might have mentioned that, so it's fine. Barb, okay, if you know you the answer, what just I... tell us what the answer is. What do we do? Oh, yeah, we haven't just asked. That's a to good point. The it sounds like you guys want to save Fokira, is that what we're calling her? No, no, that's not what we're calling her. No, her name no, is Fokira. We just call that's her the dragon. Do you remember my first wish not me personally there have been so many <laughs> yes perhaps this is that being granted wait what was their wish yeah I'm afraid you have to be more specific the only wish I remember is when Penelope reset time and I got to hang out with you guys for like years yeah I wished for my father back well, and this is not that, and because that's the one thing father? he is in here. Yeah, that's not... 
Oh, Avon. Oh. <laughs> well, we, we, we know he's... We know he's off with Sophia's <laughs> doing tree things. <laughs> doing tree things. But this is I, before. This is I, the Avon who was... This is like when May offers that. me pizza with olives and onions on it. I'm like, oh. 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 It's, it's oh. pizza, but it's ruined. <laughs> I just want to be point. clear, Adam likes Avery Plenty, but Brit does not. No, I know. He's, he's infuriating. He's, he's a pain. Also, um, I warned but, Sophia's repeatedly about becoming a tree. That's this is, valid. This is, this is the first Avery. This is the Avery who's buried at the gold tree. This is the one who started it all. Well, no, we already know his hometown. It is in a place very far from here that is not this place. Or are you saying it's after he left there but ended up here? But they said he's already been here and left. Yeah, I that so if your Avon is with Sophia's and or in, in, in the future, and that they are, <laughs> he's a lich and she's a tree. And that's there's, that's there's, her story. I mean, the other option is we bring back the Penelope who died before Seranthus. Wait, why? Wait, why? Why? <laughs> because wouldn't that undo that oh, I don't, all of I, the wishes? Am, I don't, am I trying to untangle? I'm very confused. No, it's okay. It's okay. I don't think we're trying to untangle anything. So many I think we're trying to move forward, not backwards. Well, well yeah. what if yep. we just yes. save it for later, just in case uh, I think that, you know, yeah. when we're fighting the Norns, if uh, someone dies, we could Bring him back. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, sorry, Orkira. I'm feeling like fate just gave us a backup plan in case we got to bring you back again, my friend. Uh, but hey, and then I think uh, the Phoenix said that when that you would come back if you died anyway. So maybe we don't even need it for you. It could just be like for no reason at all. This spooky lady from an ancient dead magical civilization gave the one person capable of comprehending the magic a way to bring somebody back with minimal remains left over. I'm sure it's nothing, you guys. Perhaps We're... we should go talk to that lady again. It seems like she was holding out on us. <laughs> yeah, it seems like she knows a lot more than uh, she's leading us to believe. But I'm actually tired of talking, so yep. somebody yep. could do that, you know, off screen whenever I close my eyes because everyone ceases to exist when I close my Five eyes. Five gold pieces say we go back up there and nobody even knows that lady. Oh. And it just or, see freely just like sits down by the fire getting ready to sleep. Or, there, or there was no back. floating farm at all. That's <laughs> it's been abandoned for 40 years. Or we go back there to talk to her and she just insists that she had this awesome spell and hey, you're, you're a wizard here, take this thing, I can't use it anymore. It very yeah, much cracks with the fun. fact that the Netherese were messing around with with divine magic and how wizards could cast divine magic. I mean, our wizard can cast the divine OG. magic. Uh, only to an extent. <laughs> hey, listen, it is of my expert opinion that the more people who can do healing and resurrection, the better. So keep a hold okay. of that, Alindra. It's a good thing. All right, everyone think, can get along with um, Just in case, I would like to emboss this with a Dramage summons so that should something happen to it, I can retrieve it. Okay, absolutely. Uh, Orkira? Yeah? You think? Well, okay, never mind. You guys get some rest. I want to, I mean, are we leaving this place soon? I certainly I hope so. so. But if, if there's anything else you want to do, I mean... Well, I, I just want to say goodbye to Bazarad. Okay. Do, do you want to go alone or do you want some company? I can go alone. That's fine. You guys well, rest. You can. I'm asking if you want. So we'll, we'll, you. we'll wait up for you or we'll come with you. Whichever you want. You you rest. It's just going to be real quick. Okay. All right. You all take a long rest. I'll, I'll wait up for... you hang upside down <laughs> while you sleep. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wait up for Penelope before she gets back. I'll continue to sit next to uh, Rarv looking into the fire. It's been, it's been a minute. How can you tell here? <laughs> uh, it's kind of like a, a expression. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. I do thank you all for not killing me all those years ago. I appreciate that. When I was a Koto, and 
I was going to, you know, sacrifice you to make a god. I'm so, I don't know if I ever said I was sorry about that, but I am. You did, but I, I get the whole feeling guilty over something that you had no control over, so. Uh, no hard feelings. You shouldn't feel guilty either, Orgira. Yeah, you know, people tell me that a lot. I tell myself that a lot. Doesn't stop it from happening, though. You know, if you, um, do you want some unsolicited advice? Sure. Avrin's not right because he tried to save everyone, and he did a lot of bad things. It's not always going to be within your power to save everyone. Oh, I know. It will make some people evil and some people good, and some people not anybody at all. You're all gods because of the things you did and because people believe in you. And I know you think you're going to be alone, but you'll never be alone. I hope you're right. But it's a little hard to think about losing the one person who was going to be there for me for ever. I get that. Oh, we all get, we all have to face that at some point. At some point, there's no more diamonds and there's no more magic and there's no more options. And that's it. I know, I just already went through that once, you know? I do know. Penelope, you go outside? You, you you see the a woad still growing a tiny little like hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh hello, Penelope. Are you enjoying my hand? Pazarin, yes, I am. I feel it was just such a, a great gift, and I just I feel like when I saw you the first time, I was just so flabbergasted that I didn't know how to like react, but I do now. And and what I really wanted to say was um. Well, meeting you again has made me realize how much I've changed as a person from the time when I was just a little, you know, halfling in the village where everybody made fun of me and didn't like me very much. And so you you were always there for me. And well, um, and you're here for me now. And this gift, well, it's, it's, it's not just a sort of a woad. It's, it's a woad to friendship. So thank you. I think you have grown very wise. Penelope, I find. You will make a good arched road for our circle. I hope so. I know so. I believe in you. Well, I don't know what's about to happen next. And I don't think that we'll ever be able to come back here. So just know that I'll always carry this sword and remember you fondly and remember you and and well that's all I just want to say goodbye goodbye and remember that if anyone's making fun of you it's probably because they're hurting inside and try to remember that maybe they're just very insecure and if that's not true F them <laughs> they don't Can I friendship matter. them? Okay. I can uh, do sure, yes, Penelope. <laughs> friendship them really hard. <laughs> Only Penelope. <laughs> that needs to be on a t shirt. <laughs> that one I'd wear. Go be a hero. Okay. Bye. Mm. And she will walk back in and get a okay. long rest. All right. You go walk in, back in and you get a long rest. Uh, Dawn, Karen, where do you fall? Day. Do you sleep next to the fire? Um, Alinda, are you casting your accommodating abode? Is that near the fire? Uh, sure, we can have a fire inside too. We have before. Uh, then okay. yes. 
then okay. that I would I know uh, Alindra would want us to all sleep inside the accommodating abode, so I will be inside the abode, but as close as possible to the fire. Which you can barely feel. I mean, you feel fire, but it's like, yeah. You could stick your feet in the coals if you wanted to at this point. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes it's the it's it's being able to look into it and having something to focus on other than your own thoughts. Okay. Anyone else? What do you want to do during your long rest? I'm How do you sleep? In, I'm crawling into the the abode, uh, but on the ceiling. Kind mm -hmm. of circle around a few times like a dog, and then get comfy on the ceiling, okay. right right above the fireplace and right above or Kira where it's mm -hmm. nice and warm. On the ceiling, okay. On the ceiling. Very upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and you'll all get a long rest. What do you do now? It is now morning. So, are we going to go after the Noins yet? Yeah, yeah. I think that's... I, I suppose. I'm just confused, though. What is our purpose? We've been told they cannot be destroyed. We have been told that we cannot bring Fokira back. So, what... Are we? What is our purpose? Well, we can only not bring her back if she's been destroyed. But if she hasn't, then we can still go get her. Oh, I didn't so, know there was still hope. Well, and if she's been killed in any way, we can bring her back. If uh, she has been erased from reality, that's a bit different. So our purpose, it does not have to be complicated for me. Our purpose is to go find out what happened to the other orc hero. Yeah, and then rescue her. Yeah, yes. Uh, right, uh, yes, take all the steps necessary. And, unless and she's gone and lost to oblivion. And I, we think, can't do I think she still exists because of the stuff that we have is still here. The diamond dust. Yes. We can use it to track I... her. <gasps> it's in my beard. <gasps> now can't you use that? Don't swallow it, Briv. Help and, and don't not... chew on it, it'll break your teeth. Help break me. It's metal, it will Help... be fun. How brightly is Briv's beard glowing right now? It's a sparkly beard. Yeah, like yeah? pretty sparkly. And... Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah. Full. Can full we, twilight. Can, can we use his? Can we use his beard like a hot or cold kind of compass? Like the closer we get to Fokira, the that 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 depends on how we more it glitters. Spell, but yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I like your train of thought, Whittle, but I I had something that might be a little easier. I, I can just, when we get there, I can just find her. That yeah, yeah, that, well, that makes that. more sense. But we better hurry because she's fading. We can let's also... Let's go. Uh, are you guys ready? Really? Dost thou want to go? I wanted to go yesterday, so yep, let's do it. Huzzah! <laughs> I've got two questions before we go, real quick, I promise. One, once we get there, Arar, do you know how we can get out? Hmm. Uh, yeah, we can, uh, I can get you back out. Okay. Um, yeah. If you, if you can't do that, if That's one of us good. tries to get us out of there, is that something that we can do? Or is that place shielded from, like, shifting through the planes? It's, uh, hard to get in, but it's not necessarily hard to get out. Okay. That's ominous. That and helps. Ambiguous and ominous, the way I, mean, I like it. I, I just meant that, like, you know, like, the, it's more of a, like, a, you know, like, keeping everybody out place, not keep, keep oh, keeping okay. people in place think, all the time. I think we know what Rarv is the god of now, ambiguous and ominous. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I just don't, I don't, I don't mess, I don't hang out with the Norns. Like, okay. they're not my next door neighbors. I, I was a fish for, like, a hundred years. I get it. I was a mind player for, like, a thousand. Job. No, I get it. I get it. Well, yeah, a creature right. made of snow for I like a week. Mud. And, 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 by the way, yeah, the mind yeah. flayers made, made us Kotoa, yeah. so I don't take that on you. I mean, but I had to eat brains. It, no, it was the, first of all, we're going backwards. We're, this oh, is we're the whole one, one more question. As I said, I had two questions. That was the first. Second, do you have any suggestions for what we should be prepared for in there? Oh, yeah, it's going to be real bad. Uh, they got God, they got amber golems. They got this is like a giant. Well, there's a giant dragon down there, but I think he doesn't like uh, the Norns all that much. You might want to talk to him. And there is a guy, there is a contact we have had on the inside this whole time uh, that is very mysterious that you might want to talk to. So I'm glad now just asked this question. Can you tell us anything about the contact? 
Just sends us these tiny notes saying, oh, the Norn are up to some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing. But it's like all, it's chicken scratch. It's very weirdly written stuff. It's, uh, we it's don't know who's been sending us it. Does not understand? Do you have one of those notes? Yeah, I got one right here. The, <laughs> hands it to you. It's like the Norns suck. And it's <laughs> just weird handwriting in common. Have we ever seen that handwriting before anywhere? No. <laughs> okay. Like, never in your travels. <laughs> but I'm going to scry on that note and find out who that belongs to. Mm-hmm. Like, now? Uh, <laughs> yeah. If not now, when? Okay. What does scry do? Amen. You can see and hear a particular creature you choose. Oh, it's on the same plane of existence. All right. Once we get there, I will scry on them. <laughs> I'm assuming... It. This is not the same plane of existence we're going to. Shoot. Definitely, de definitely not. Technically, okay. Yeah. When so. we get there, I can scry on the, this person to figure out who they are. Uh, okay. Uh, I will. Let's. Mars, like, actually, uh, scrying works quite well here if you want to try, <laughs> as we're kind of in the center of everything. Okay. And know it, nothing at the same time. Am I being ambiguous again for you, really? Yeah. I will. We're everywhere and nowhere. How more ambiguous could you be, Rarv? You're both tall and short. <laughs> well, first of all, one of those is patently false. While the two of them snipe at each other, I've gotten my scrying spectrometer from back from Penelope. I'm going to use the note. I'm going to cast scry on the, the person who the note belongs to. Uh, can you see them? You can see and hear a particular creature. Uh, it's concentration up to 10 minutes. They do get to make a wisdom saving throw, which is modified by how well I know the target and the sort of physical connection I have, which is why I was like, do you have a note? Perfect. Yep. Um, okay. What's the, what's the save? Uh, they get a negative four to this because I have a possession or garment. And in fact, my... so... in, in fact, oh. I, I, I think this, say... is, this is a quite important moment. We need to know about this. Um, Alindra looks at you, and I, I have foreseen this moment, or Kira. Um, so they have a four on the dice roll, which will put them at a zero. <laughs> well, plus four. whatever, yeah. My spell to I, save DC is a 19, so I think they fail. Hmm. Who do I see? <laughs> at the very roots of the world tree, at the very bottom of the D&D multiverse, there is a cave, endlessly sprawling into the darkness, large roots the size of cities above, you can see. And in all of this darkness, you hear a voice. I can feel you looking for me. I can smell Dragonborn. And you see movement in the shadow. Eldrex. Are you ready to meet me? And out of the shadows, a tiny little squirrel with a horn squiggle, squiggles out. I am ready, guys. Car. Prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our episode, everybody. Thank you for watching Ooh. Heroes of the Plains. <laughs> so this is now the hard. second episode in a row. I was really Jeez. scared there for a second. I'm Thank still you. scared. Just because it's a channel <laughs> does not mean I'm not scared. <laughs> Thank you to my amazing cast of wonderful role players who who uh, make it very easy. This was a very DM light episode for me. Uh, I'm very concerned about Lake Briv and or Lake P or I don't know what it's going to end up being. It's got, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, B. Dave Walters. I believe words are in order. Urine is technically sterile, so it'll be stinky, but it won't you know hurt anything. I suppose. Oh, that's a myth. <laughs> Haven't you yeah. ever it's seen Waterworld? It's a terrible myth. Yeah. <laughs> But to it say, just need, it, it just cure, one of the cure, straws. It'll cure athlete's foot. Uh, yeah, B. Dave Walters. Um, <laughs> Don't get stung by a jellyfish. I say words about things. It cures friendship over. as well. 
find me all over the tweetograms. Uh, but 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 it makes it. But it's enemy making sauce though. Uh, yeah, find yeah, me yeah. All over the tweetograms at B Dave Walters. Uh, Lauren Urban. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the community manager for Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. You can find me on Twitter as Obo Lauren. You can find me playing this character, except not the god version of this character, on Sundays on D4 on the Rock Punch ATL channel at 4 o'clock Pacific. You can also find me on Wednesdays on uh, the actual c &E Games Twitch channel doing the sketching hour, where uh, I talk for about 45 minutes while two amazing artists draw uh, amazing art and do art things. So join me for all of those things. Cool. Jen Kretschmer. Hello, I am Jen Kretschmer. I am at DreamWisp on Twitter and Instagram. I am uh, DreamWisp Jen on Twitch. Um, I uh, am one of the authors on Camel Keep Mysteries and one of uh, and uh, the creator of the Accessibility and Gaming Resource Guide. Um, coming up, we just announced that I'm about to be on a new Vampire the Masquerade show uh, called The Nightlife uh, that premieres on Friday the 11th at 8 p.m. Um, on Renegade's channel, and then um, we will be Wednesday nights. Um, and Ooh, what a city? Bunch... Miami. Oh, heck no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Um, and... There's zombies down there. <laughs> <laughs> not, not for long, there won't be. Um... <laughs> no, uh, and uh, yeah, all sorts of fun things coming up that I'm excited to announce soon. Megan Kenrick. Hi, everyone. I'm Megan Kenrick, and you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Megan Kenrick, as well as Todd Kenrick's YouTube channel, where we talk about all things d, &D. We also have a new project coming up. I don't want to say too much about it, but maybe we'll release it sometime midsummer. More to come on that. Mr. Adam Bradford. I am Adam, and I'm the Chief Development Officer. CDO is kind of a made-up thing, but that's what I am at Demiplane. And uh, so you can catch me anywhere uh, where Demi playing things are going on. You can also catch me on Twitter at Bad Eye Adam uh, because uh, I can't hang out anywhere else because it's too uh, it takes too long to read other things. So uh, <laughs> hit, hit, hit me up there and uh, happy to interact on Twitter. And you can also catch me in the Discord, uh, the Demi playing uh, Discord uh, as well. Aren't Hopefully. all titles really made up? Yes, they, they really are. All so, words are. All so words, yeah. yeah. Uh, Hope Lavelle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hope Lavelle. I'm made up too. <laughs> you can follow me <laughs> on Twitter. Magic and friendship. <laughs> Wait, uh, how do we clap to make you be real? Is that what we're supposed to do? <laughs> Everyone at home in chat, clap. <laughs> Everyone clap, 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 clap very loud right now. To make <laughs> Hope Lavelle real. <laughs> um, follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. And thank you for letting me play with you today. You can follow, uh, you can watch or listen, you can listen to Attackers of Opportunity where I play D&D &D, uh, and yeah, that's that's it. And I am Todd Kenrick. I keep secrets about things. That's my new thing. And I am the creative manager over at c &E Games. I do creative stuff over there. I also have a lovely channel with my wife, Megan, where we talk about how to make the Bagman a playable race or squidlings or all kinds of other weird stuff, Ravenloft stuff. And yes, we do have a project that may be on the DMs Guild soon. That is going to be full of a lot of weirdness. It's going to be awesome. So, uh, but more on that later. Uh, thank you for this amazing cast. And uh, thank you for all of Demi Plain and Peter and everybody else. I really appreciate it. So thank you all, everyone at home for watching. Bye. Later, Gators. Bye. Bye.